drop the hammer and buy the boys around round of Mellow Yellows because Cole Trickle's coming out of retirement. After the success of Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise is reportedly working on a sequel to his 1990 cult classic Days of Thunder with the director of Top Gun Maverick. What's the story going to be? We have no idea, but I have some ideas. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. All right, first idea. So by now, Cole's a four-time champion. Numerous victories. Got divorced from Dr. Claire a long time ago because Nicole Kidman can absolutely not be anywhere near this movie. Harry Hogg passed away. They buried him up in Wilkes County just like he would have wanted. But after seeing Derek Cope come out of retirement and run the Daytona 500, even though he shouldn't have, Cole Trickle decides that he wants to do the same thing to show these boys that he still got it, except for the fact that he's 60 years old and probably should not be in a race car. Okay, so maybe basing it around Derek Cope's life isn't the best thing to do. But what if they take the driven approach? A 90-year-old Tim Dalen is still fielding cars and he's got this hotshot young rookie that's a little bit too aggressive, like a Ross Chastain type of situation. And he needs a Joe Tanto to come in and give him the old Jimmy Bly treatment and calm this kid down so he can go win championships. So he calls up Cole and has him come down. John C. Riley has now moved up to competition director over at the team. Cole comes in at 60 years old, gives this kid the run, shows him what to do, and everybody just leaves happy, right? Formula One's making a movie based off the same thing just with Brad Pitt. Why doesn't... Tom Cruise do the same thing. Or maybe in some alternate reality, Cole Trickle comes out of retirement to run one last race with his pal Cal Naughton Jr. in the Talladega Knights Days of Thunder crossover you didn't know you needed right until this point. Make Ricky Bobby the team owner. He bought Bennett a long time ago. Tim Dalen, maybe they join forces. Just saying, would be pretty entertaining. I posted this video on TikTok, and a lot of people said, oh, Cole should go back to World of Outlaws. He is a two-time champion, so he could do that. Honestly, for commercial success of the movie, I just don't see that happening. They mentioned that he could go to IndyCar because he used to drive those indie type things. Again, I just don't see how that is going to be commercially successful. And at the end of the day, this is Days of Thunder, right? This is a NASCAR movie, so it has to stay with NASCAR. A lot of people... A lot of people mentioned that he could probably take Rowdy Burns' kid underneath his wing. And I'll be honest, I don't hate that idea and it does make a lot of sense, but Tom Cruise loves to be the center of his movies. So he has to be doing some driving at some point. He has to be in a race. He can take that kid under his wing like he did Rooster in Top Gun Maverick. Totally get that. Completely understand. Also, if you're a partner or a rival of Tom Cruise in any of his movies, just know something bad's going to happen, but he will take care of your kid. So that's a plus. Either way, a lot of people also said that these ideas mimic Cars 3. I've never seen Cars 3, so I'm going to have to unfortunately sit down and watch these movies. But at the same time, if it is just a live action Cars 3, fantastic. Take your kids, take your wife, whatever. I don't care. I just want to see these movies get made because they're entertaining. And people are like, oh, don't mess with a good thing. Listen, Days of Thunder is not good. It's entertaining, but it's not good from like a, a race standpoint. One thing's for certain with this film, though, if it does get made. It is the fact that there will at least be one shot of Tom Cruise riding a motorcycle, whether that's into a track, into a shop, guarantee it, book it. If FanDuel has a bet on that, put money down on it right now. Outside of that, there will be multiple scenes of shifting at the most inane spots on a racetrack. Backstretch at Michigan, sure, shift. Going through the corners at Talladega, absolutely. Shift to fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, doesn't matter. The next gen car is a sequential gearbox, so you don't even need an H pattern. You can just keep hitting that thing as much as you want. It's like Fast and Furious, just in race cars. I'll never understand. Apparently, Hollywood studios think that the audience equates shifting with speed, so that's how they have to show an increase in speed. Makes no sense. There will be a ton of Hollywood wrecks. It's going to look like wreck fest out there. Hoods flying off. It's just unreasonable. At the same time, they absolutely wouldn't have that happen with the next gen car, but... Cole could not pull the same move he did at Darlington to win that race when they put the special tires on because if he hits the wall that hard, he's breaking a toe link. And that's all you're going to see in this movie, if it was realistic, is him driving like a maniac, breaking toe links. That's where his frustration should come from. He doesn't have Harry to be frustrated with anymore. He has to have a new crew chief, a young guy, an engineer, of course, and he just has to get frustrated from breaking toe links. That's the storyline that I want to see in it. You have to include ice cream into this movie at some point, somehow. I don't know how you do it. You can't do the same thing, but you got to do something, especially if he takes Rowdy Burns' kid underneath his wing. There has to be an ice cream scene there because I'm sure the kid's going to do something stupid and he's going to come into the pits and uh, Cole Trickle's going to be sitting there eating an ice cream because, again, we got to go full circle. Either way, I hope this movie gets made. I hope it gets greenlit. One interesting fact is Tom Cruise turned down Paramount's request to make a Days of Thunder series for Paramount+, Plus, which I'm actually kind of glad he did because if Days of Thunder 2 does end up happening, it's going to be exponentially better than what a series would have been. At the same time, 
I would have loved to see a series because I would like to see NASCAR put their money into something that's not like the crew on Netflix. Either way, follow me on TikTok at Break Hard. Like, uh, or not like, follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram as well uh, at Break Hard Blog and like and subscribe.